Some of these people I talk to, you're talking about five, six, seven years building these cars. When you really sit there and you see the time and the effort and the quality that they put into their builds, it makes you think like these people not only have the skills, but they truly care. Today we are looking for that next Hot Wheels vehicle. So it's got to be something that has a little bit of sweat equity from the owner. We're also looking for that original story. Maybe it was their grandparents, maybe it's a father-daughter, husband-wife, something that really tells that passion. As a judge, we have three different things we're looking for. You know, there's the garage spirit, there's the authenticity, and then there's that Hot Wheels story. You know, anything that just really ties you in and now you have that emotional connection to the cars. It's like, no, this is my baby, this is my love. I worked on this and I'm really proud of it and I want to show it. Uh, my name is Chris Nace, and it's a 53 Ford F100 pickup truck. It was kind of a concept build. I wanted to make it look like a 60s Southern California lowrider truck, kind of period correct, everything in it. It's chopped and channeled and sectioned and a little modern flair of the air ride laying frame. Funny nickname is El Wapo. It's the beautiful one. <laughs> Took five years to build this from beginning to end. It was probably one of the most arduous tasks ever. Hot Wheels cars, growing up with them, they always had to be a little flamboyant and have a lot of cool paint on them. And having uh, 17 coats of glitter metal flake on the roof, uh, I think uh, brings it into the Hot Wheels world. Well, my car is like a Hot Wheels car, obviously. It's totally different than hopefully what you would see on the road. The car has a lot of nicknames. The one we go with is Voodoo Blue because of the color of the car. It took us about three and a half years. We work on it three, four hours at night on a weekend. We chopped five inches out of the top, and then we took two three-inch sections out of the body. But we left the gills in, and then on the side, the chassis is custom-made. The motor is a 750 series BMW 12-cylinder motor in it. There's Porsche half shafts, there's Corvette spindles. It's a variety of parts. My name is uh, Dave Hobson. The year is uh, 1957 and I call it the 57. I built it as a Hot Wheels style car because I always grew up with Hot Wheels. So building it, I had that in mind that it, it looks like a Hot Wheels car and everybody tells me that. The body I pretty much had in my mind what I wanted to do. But you know, what you have in your mind doesn't always work out when you start to do it. So there was a few little things here and there. Start out as a four door 57 Chevy that was rusted away. I actually cut the back end off and made it into a bench for a few years. Custom built the frame, did the engine, did the interior, did the body and paint. Most excited for today would be to win and uh, go to Las Vegas. I'm hoping that it happens because my fiance and I, we like to get married there, which would be kind of nice, so. Before we go in to announce our winners, I want to thank all our sponsors that made this possible and that make this experience so great. First, of course, Mobile One. Second, Mechanics Wear that we saw there that had the Pit Stop Challenge. Some of you were lucky enough to get some of those Hot Wheels gloves for your kids. Those are the most amazing gloves. And then number three, we have Dick is here to the right. That's a staple for anyone who's into cars. And this is a, a great way to gather the community. And thank you for having us here. All right, everyone. You guys have a good time today checking out all these cool cars? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. Would love to hear uh, what you guys thought was your favorites and why. My favorite is probably the, the 57 Show Hot Rod. He built the thing together, chopped it up, cut it up, put it together, put the motor together. Like, I don't know, I think it's special. It's probably my favorite. Uh, I did like the uh, Toyota Cruiser. It's got a nationally aspirated V12 up front on a car that looks like it should never have a V12 in it. All right, sounds like we have a consensus here. Let's go make someone very happy. All right, without further ado, the winner definitely checked all three boxes that we're looking for. So it's with no great surprise, it is the, uh, the blue Toyota FJ. Come on up and get your prize. 
started as a 1968 Land Cruiser, typical rust bucket. And from there, we decided it had to be different. So rather than go high, we decided to go low. We put in the motor that you see here, which is a BMW 750 series motor. But then we didn't want to leave out the domestic side of things, so we threw in a, a Pontiac GTO rear end with some Corvette wheels and Corvette knuckles, so we kind of got the whole entourage of all the different cars out there. It basically drives like a go-kart on steroids. The motor isn't that big, it's only a 300 horsepower. And if you go along at like 20, 30, and you, you punch it, it hooks up and it goes. Even just being here today, I never thought we had a chance. You know, just being able to make it to, to SEMA in Vegas, you know, if we could get to the, the end game and have a Hot Wheels car made, that would be absolutely amazing. To me, it's the reaction of the people. As I say, today, everybody seemed to enjoy it, and of course, not near as much as we are now. Well, thank you and congratulations. We'll see you at SEMA in Vegas. Tons of cool cars. I think we picked the right one. I hope to see you at the next event.